or herself in said hotel bar in order to overhear an inebriated genius high on gin and cashews and recite the story's out loud. How dare he or she? This is going to take longer than Monopoly. I, I, would it really be so terrible if your hero Bill Lamp was inspired by our favorite show? Yeah, it would. It's beneath him. <laughs> wow. Okay, you know what? We may not want to hang out with you guys tonight. Yeah, agreed. You two can play in your little comic book court room alone. Ooh, sushi? Sounds great. You guys haven't even heard theory number two yet. Yeah, it's time travel! <laughs> well, come on, Mike. Why don't you just let Tim fix it? No, I'm not going to do what this country does to outsource work that I can do myself. <laughs> this guy's back. He, he looks just like you. You know, I don't care how handsome the guy is. He blew up my disposal. Why are you defending him? I, I kind of like him. You know, we had this long conversation while we were waiting for you, and it turns out he has got three grown kids, only boys. I mean, he's smart, he's funny, and you guys are a lot alike. You might want to remember who you're married to. That's easy. It's a guy in my bedroom. Wait, wait. You're, you're Mike, right? Yes, and Tim is that guy that makes the obnoxious ape sounds. What's up with that? I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> I think he leans into it a little much, yeah. right? Probably why that show has got canceled. No, he did not get canceled. He said he just didn't want to do it anymore. You know what? I don't want to do it anymore. I haven't worked on the damn disposal. I've got to get this vlog done. He needs some peace and quiet around here. Well, what happened to that one about how everybody's unique? <laughs> It was pretty relevant until today. <laughs> well, you know what? Just let him fix what he broke. He's got a lot of pride. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe you could use one of his grunts in your blog. You know, just give it more power. Like that. Hmm. <laughs> I'd rather get shot in the head with a carrot. You know what I'm going to do? Tomorrow morning, I'm going to look at those steely blue eyes and that perfect nose and say, they're out of here. This is getting really weird. Just a little bit. Red loved visiting Grandma's house. And after saving Big and Amazon, she was ready for those uninvited guests. Shop legendary deals at Amazon. Outback's new steak and mate combos. Can't choose between steak and chicken or steak and shrimp. No rules here, mate. Get them both. It's the Aussie way. Starting at $16.99 for a limited time. Only at Outback Steakhouse. Look at these mighty Quaker oats. Are healthy, a good source of fiber, and for only cents per day. There's no denying Quaker oats are the grain of all time. Quaker Oats, a super trusted superfood. Next to market watch, numbers, boring. In more delicious news, Carl's Jr. and Hardee's are offering charbroiled double deals starting at $2.99 each. Bite into these double deals starting at $2.99 each at Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. Trick or treat! Kick it out! Reese's! Oh, great costume. Looks like you deserve it both. This is going to be great. Dear Night Owls, when darkness falls, our stunning style takes flight as we soar over city streets. And our fuel economy is ever so wise. This ride's a hoot. Trust us, Toyota Sedans. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan. Visit your local Toyota dealer today. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. This is a town called Basic. It's pretty hard to stand out around here. But if you pull up in a 2022 Nissan Rogue, you'll stand out before your feet even hit the pavement. Can you make mine look like that? Anything but basic. The 2022 Nissan Rogue. Get 1.9% financing for 36 months on Rogue or shop our inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. 
Que si, mijo. This drum and thigh combo is only six bucks. Good deal. For you. But you bring nothing home for your abuelita. You okay? No. Get your own six dollar two piece combo at KFC. Age before beauty? Why not both? Visibly diminished wrinkled skin in just two days. New Quick Corrector Lotion, only from Gold Bond. Championing your skin. Mm. It's nothing. Sounds like something. When you have not your heartburn indigestion, I'm just a diarrhea. Petro Bismol coats and soothes for fast relief when you need it most. Sherwin-Williams and stay big during the four-day super sale. Get 40% off paints and stains with sale prices starting at $26.69. Hurry, it's only October 14th through the 17th. Shop online or at your neighborhood Sherwin-Williams store. Hey Baxter, talk to your wife said you're out here. What are you doing? Uh, fixing the breaker and the more power disposal that you fried yesterday. That's why I'm here. That's what I do. I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> We're going to get somebody else to finish the job. I suppose I don't deserve a second chance. That more power stuff worked better on my show and not so good at my house either. So we're sharing now? No, I'm not sharing it. Oh, I find it easier to open up when I'm just talking to the top half of another man's face. What <laughs> particular fetish you've got? <laughs> I did it with Wilson. Please tell me how to talk about that stupid volleyball and that Tom Hanks movie. I love Tom Hanks. I always feel like he's the second best guy in some of those films. <laughs> Who was Wilson? Oh, one of my neighbors, actually, for many, many years. I shared a lot of stuff with him. He passed away. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, me too. I miss Wilson. I miss a lot of stuff. Listen, I will get somebody out here to fix this a pro one of our guys. It's on us. Damn. I look as good walking away as I do from the front. <laughs> Glad we found this. It's too perfect. Ready to make a couple of little boys cry? No, that's bullying. We're talking about our husbands. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, can you come in here for a second? Hey, what's up? We're trying to figure out what to do with our next podcast. Yeah, we want to do an episode about how Bill Lamp was robbed by these other shows and his accountant and his brother-in-law, but we don't want him to seem like a sucker. <laughs> this will be quick. You were right about the League of Super Ladies. Totally not on the same level as Toxic Titans. Well, babe, I mean, you can't be expected to know as much as I do about the genre. I mean, I've been reading since I was a little kid. I was practically a nerd. No. <laughs> we finally realized that their writers were... Hmm. What, what was that? The losers? Mm -hmm. Posers? Hacks? Well, I, I mean, that's a little harsh. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Bill Lamp wrote 16 episodes of League of Super Ladies between 91 and 93? That can't be right. Ryan, tell them that's not right. Kyle, just let me read this, okay? <laughs> Legitimate website. Mm -hmm. Television episodes. Oh my god. Bill Lamp wrote 16 episodes of League of Super Ladies from 91 and 93. No, that's the same thing Kristen just said. He wrote it under the pseudonym William Chandelier. Ah, man, that's a cool name. Yeah, that's so Bill. <laughs> But I don't understand. Why do you feel like he needed to hide his identity? Maybe because he knew some of his diehard graphic novel fans can be elite snobs who don't respect other people's feelings? You know, we love our show just as much as you guys love Toxic Titans. And when we were little girls, it made us feel like we could be powerful, too. We owe you an apology. Thank you. Uh, you know what? And I have an idea about what we can do for our podcast. We should devote the whole hour to League of Super Ladies. And we happen to know two experts. Will you do it? Well, it is a call-in show. Might give a chance for some of those fans to talk to a real girl. <laughs> Let's do it. It really is uncanny how much you look like Mike. I mean, if, if, if Mike's off color in his hair. <laughs> Did you enjoy all that attention you received from the employees as you walked through the store? Actually, it was it was kind of fun. I, I gave a woman down there a big discount on a tent and a shotgun. <laughs> hey, hey, can you do us a favor? Can, can you read this and let us film you? Sure. Yeah. 
Now, why am I doing this? Word? Because there are some words that need to be said from that face. Chuck, what can I say? You're right and I'm wrong again. <laughs> well, do mine. Do mine. Do all mine. right, all right, all right. Jazz is America's greatest art form. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I invited him to see me, now you too. What can I say, Mike? You're right and I'm wrong again. <laughs> Hey, come on in. Your guy from Benford did a great job. He fixed the breaker box and the disposal, and not one vegetable stuck in my ceiling. He said that uh, you're actually a great guy. I was worried you went to the wrong house. He also had time to show me where I could find these on the internet. Wow. My old shows. I've been watching some of these. Just want you to know, I think... Oh, boy, here we go. I think these are great. Well produced, it's clever, funny. I really like these, they're great. Why did you quit doing this? Because they were great. And as soon as I finished one show, I, I got to thinking, can I make the next one as great? And uh, it, it's really hard to understand. Oh, I understand that. Kind of running out of 